So my name's John Lloyd. I'm a community developer for Red Links. And on Trials Rising, I had an awesome pleasure of getting to work with our community very early in the development cycle through our Trials Elite program. Trials Elite has been this new initiative that we introduced with the development and something that we, we really want to continue in the future as well. So the Trials Elite is a small group of Trials players that we started talking to very early in the development process for Trials Rising in order to get feedback from the community long before we shared the game with the public. There have been several concrete improvements we've done based on their feedback. For example, we now have more powerful editor with scalable objects. We were also to improve the bike physics and the tracks so that the gameplay feels even better than before. Community involvement is absolutely huge. You have that ability to get that face-to-face -face contact. Um, we've had level designers sitting with us. You like that instead of this. And you, know, you can see that having an immediate impact on how the levels are being designed. It's really nice to see that, there, that things change when you say, you know, I don't like this, and then the next installment of the game doesn't have that in there. I can immediately see the impact that I have. I've been talking to the track builders. We have like made the changes in the editor directly afterwards, and yeah, it's just been a great experience. So the Trials Elite's been a great opportunity for both us on the dev team and the players involved. Of course, for them, they get a nice early look at a game that they love, and they even, to some degree, can help kind of shape how that final game is gonna come out. And then for us on the development team, we get very early feedback on what our plans are from some of our most dedicated players, and that really helps us guide some of our decision-making through the development process. Mama gave this warrior child name to stand out in the crowd. I'm really looking forward to the additional customization and creative options that are going to be given to the players and creators both. I think it's got a lot more power, it's got a lot more objects, and we have a lot more control over things. I think the new tools that we have are going to really improve tracks and give people a lot more creativity, more dynamic stuff. It is much more impactful than a lot of the other Trials games. There's so much more effects and so much more explosions and just a lot of dynamic things that are happening in and around. And that's not to say that it's impacting the core of what the game is about, but there's a lot of just you know, visually interesting things. So for someone that hasn't seen it before, I think the first time you're gonna see it, you're gonna be blown away by just how cool it looks. All that stuff I think is really good for the game because it just gives you more stuff to do, more stuff to do, like not only grinding for good times, but being active and like interacting with other people more. So of course, feedback is incredibly important through the entire development process. And now all of you at home have a chance to take part as well. Head over to trialsgame.com slash beta and register for any live phases that we're going to hold before the game launches. Looking forward to seeing you there.